Hi there. I recently had a great video out there on how to build forms fast without jQuery using Cadence Blocks. In that video, I had a comment from somebody that says, can you add a calendar for customers to choose a required date? Well, there is a date field in Cadence Forms. In this video, we're gonna show you how to use the date field in Cadence Forms Advanced. So let's jump on in and see how it works. Okay, so here we have a form. If you wanna know more about just adding a general form in Cadence, make sure you go and check out my other videos in the playlist around Cadence Pro. So here I have a form, and what we're going to do is jump into the dashboard. So click on dashboard, and then we're going to go down to Cadence to Forms, and we can see our advanced contact form here. Uh, the other way you can get to the form is to also click on Edit Page. And this has the form inside here also. So within the form, we want to add a new field just under company name, which is a date field. So I'm going to say add after here. That's one way to do it like that. And then I can just push forward slash and a date field will come up. The other way you can do that is by going to company name and clicking the plus under the field that you've got there. And then all the different fields come up. In advanced fields, we have the date. So we can put date like that. And then I can say, you know, what date would you like to meet? Like that. So, and I'll just set that to be required. So now, oops, I need to fix that up. Okay. So now that we've got that date, we can see that we've got a picker and all that sort of stuff with day, month, year. In the advanced area, we do have some extra settings like the field name, ARIA input, this is for screen readers and what they would read. You can populate with a parameter. So let's say for example, you had some form of parameter that you're sending to the page, you can use that to populate the field. And um, we'll do another video on populating with parameters a bit later. You can enable conditional logic. So we could say, for example, if this was, you know, dependent on something else. So let's just say, you know, what type of inquiry is this? Um, I could say, you know, do a, a, a show if what type of inquiry is this is business. And then it would only show in that case. Um, for this one, we don't want to worry about that. And then you have the advanced fields there. So one of the things that I did note about this is there's no way to be able to set a date range. So if you're doing date of births, for example, um, you might want to go back into the future, but there's nothing to say only allow selections into the future or only select dates in the past. You know, somebody can't be born tomorrow. So that means that for a DOB, you'd want the date to have a rule to say it must be less than today. Um, if you've got a, a date that's for a booking, you might want to say it must be seven days or more into the future. You know, um, it doesn't have that kind of logic at this time, but it does have that date and you can, of course, set down um, date preferences and, and different instructions to help the user understand that. So we click update. Now, because I've done this from within the page, it also says, do you want to update the general form as a whole? So this form, wherever it is being placed, will be updated. So the first place I showed you where to edit the form, which is inside Cadence Forms, that entry to manage this form is being updated. It's like a partial that can be used in many spots. So that's why we get this interface at the sidebar. So I click save. That's great. Now let's take a look at what the field looks like. So here we have the date and the year. Now I can just type into there like that. I can also click on the little date field at the end here and then pick a date. Um, I also quite like this date picker. So you can click today, you can click clear. You can also click on this drop down at the top here um, and this allows real quick sort of gathering of information. As you go up, it starts adding more. As you go down, it starts adding more. It just keeps going into the future. So I think that's pretty cool. Um, one thing I didn't like is that, you know, I mean, going up and down like that's pretty good as well, but there was no sort of, let me just pick a year. You have to use the scroller. Um, again, not a, a feature killer by any means. Um, this is a really great date picker to say that there is no jQuery required on this page. So that's the date field. Hope that helps you out. 
people, I hope you liked that quick tip on how to use the date field in the advanced cadence forms. Remember, you do need a premium subscription to make the most out of cadence blocks. So if you want one of those, just a reminder, we do have an affiliate link below and that does help the channel out. If you'd like to know more about cadence forms or know more about cadence blocks, themes or anything with WordPress and SEO, you can leave a comment below and I'll make a video about it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.